Netting to Zero Coalition is a group of willing stakeholders, both public and private sector actors, who are actively pr pursuing ways to expedite the pathway to a decarbonized future. Uh, but instead of just talking about actions, the coalition has done a couple of things. Um, most recently, it's produced the first wave, uh, which is literally a blueprint uh, that was crafted with the Energy Transitions Commission. And this blueprint outlines exactly what needs to happen so that the shipping industry can fulfill its goals set out by the UN and the IMO. priorities to ensure that industry leaders across the maritime value chain unlock the first wave of commercial scale zero carbon shipping. First, fast track technology trials and regulatory approvals. Second, really choose wisely the pilot locations to ensure to have access to low cost renewable electricity. Third, seize every opportunity to repurpose and retrofit existing infrastructure and assets at fuel production, bunkering, and vessel level. Fourth, co-invest in critical equipment at bunkering and vessel levels especially uh, to jointly learn from the first operations of those equipment. And finally, and most importantly, really ensure that there are offtake agreements running throughout the value chain from the cargo owners all the way back to the fuel providers to de-risk investment uh, at all the critical sets of the, pro of the project. Shipping's decarbonization can be achieved, but governments must also play a key role in supporting it. We can do so by providing targeted investment support in the form of subsidies or access to concessional finance. We can do so by facilitating the access to low-cost electricity to produce synthetic fuels. And they can help close the gap between zero emission and traditional fuels. By putting in place an enabling coherent policy framework, governments can play a key role in creating the environment where companies can make the investments needed to put shipping on the path towards decarbonization.